Hi everyone and welcome to my workshop. Today I created a project that adds safety to my workshop and it's triggered by RFID. Now, as anyone with a shop knows, it's very common for me to leave a power tool that's plugged in and then leave the shop out. And the problem with that is that my workshop is often visited by, by, by my kids. The workshop overlooks the backyard of the house, so they quite often get in from outside and into the workshop directly, which is in the basement. So I had to figure out a way how I can safely turn off the power. So whenever my kids come into the shop, none of the tools are powered, so they cannot cause any damage. This video is sponsored by PCBWay, whose awesome built PCBs power a lot of my projects. PCBWay offers very cheap PCB prototyping with a variety of options that will for sure match the needs of your project. At the moment, PCBWay holds its fifth PCB design contest where you can participate to win up to $1500 in cash prize as well as a Raspberry Pi 4. Every participant wins a Raspberry Pi Pico, so be sure to check it out and submit your project by the end of the year so you can win an awesome set of prizes. So to mitigate this problem, I came up with this project over here, which interrupts the main power coming in from the shop. Everything on the workshop side of the, of the basement is powered by this cable over here. So I've added this contraption here that's housing an Arduino Nano, an RFID chip and a contactor that then cuts the power to the entire section of the workshop. So even though everything is still plugged in, when I turn it on, nothing really works because power is cut from the breakers. So even if everything is plugged in, the children cannot hurt themselves and cause any injuries. And the star of this project is this Rayax RY-RR10S RFID and NFC module that's being powered by the STCR95HF uh, RFID and NFC engine. It can be communicated with the microcontroller using either UART or SPI interfaces. And with this light module that was kindly provided by Rayax, you can directly interface this board with the microcontroller using serial communication. The module has integrated antenna on board that goes around and it's perfect choice if you want to have an RFID project that is capable of reading basically any card that uh, exists out there as well as any tags uh, like this ones. And here is the circuit that powers the switch. We have the Arduino Nano, we have the Rayx RFID module, and we have the relay that turns on the conductor. In the example circuit here, pin number nine is used for the buzzer that indicates when we read a card or when we are in the timeout period. Pin number six controls the relay. That's this purple wire here and I'm using software serial to talk to the RFID module on pins D2 and D3 and then the module is connected directly to the 5 volt of the microcontroller and here we have ground. This one here, the uh, yellow wire is ground for the relay and over here we have ground for the module and 5 volt from the regulated output. The module is powered directly from the VN pin, so we can use the input 5 volts and not draw the current uh, for the relay through the uh, regulator on the board because we don't want to overload that as the relay can pull in uh, a lot more current. The way that this works is that I have pre-programmed cards that activate the switch and you can see now that the relay is on and if I put the card again it will turn off. If I try to use a card that's not registered you see that we only get the beep and here is the card that's registered. Only beeps, no, no turning on. And let's now Activate the switch. We have the relay active that turns on the contactor. That's that's not connected here in this setup. 
and after a while there is a timeout on the that runs on the Arduino Nano currently I have it set to 30 seconds just for demonstration purposes now it's on and after that timeout is expired it will turn off automatically or we can turn it off at any time uh, either with registered or with unregistered card so if it reads a card that's not registered so you you see i don't have the check mark on this one doesn't turn on and if it's already on then it will turn off so now uh, the relay is on the countdown is already started once we get into the final 30 seconds it starts to beep and at this time we can place a register card that will make a longer beep and that would extend the time that we have set in the Arduino Nano to another period currently that's set to two minutes so on each scan of the card we have two minutes of working time this in the final version I have this extended to several hours uh, depending on how long I plan to stay in the workshop but this here just for demonstration purposes I have it set to two minutes so here once again it starts to beep and during this period if we go with the cart you can see that we have now basically extended that period for another session of whatever we have set in the Arduino Nano as our working time and during working if at any point we want to leave the workshop and turn off the system and not rely on the countdown on the timeout that we have we can just place the card next to the sensor and that would turn off the relay and the contactor so the power will be turned off in the workshop and here is the whole setup with the contactor I have on the right the Arduino is powered from the battery bank that I created earlier you can check that video up here in the corner we have the Arduino with the RFID sensor and the relay module that triggers the contactor here on the on the left uh, that will be the main switch that turns on all of the power tools all of, of the heavy loads and if I bring the cart close to the reader you see that now the contactor engages and if I bring it close again now the contactor turns off and the whole cycle is now controlled uh, independently using these cards or with the mobile phone as shown earlier now off the build montage and how I build the entire enclosure <laughs>
and here is the code that runs on the Arduino Nano. We use software serial to communicate with the RFID module. Uh, and at the beginning, we have few definitions. Um, most respectively, we have the commands that are needed to send out to the modules. And this can be found in the module datasheet that I'll link down below. And the two most important commands are the ones that we are initiating reading on the module and then initiating the reading of the card. We have a defined structure that holds the um, card token and the given access. So we can have an array that specifies which cards are allowed to use the uh, safety switch and to activate it. And then a few more variables. The runtime variable is the one that controls the delay. Uh, actually, the uh, the runtime for how long the safety switch stays on. Currently, this one is set to one minute, so 60 seconds. Uh, this is in uh, milliseconds, so 1000 milliseconds make one second. And you can adjust this one to whatever you like, basically. And... Uh, in this setup function, we need to execute all of the commands. So all of the initialized commands with a certain delay in the beginning. And then we have a simple buzzer sound that indicates that the, now the whole assembly is uh, ready and can be used. Then we have the function that reads the serial data and prints it out uh, or just ignores it depending on what we want to do. Then we have the function that reads the tag whenever a tag is detected. And inside the loop function, we basically instruct the module to search for a new card. And if it finds a new card, then we're reading that, uh, that tag. And if that was a successful reading and the tag is not empty because it can happen to have some like uh, misreadings or something, we check the tags array to see if we given access to this particular tag. And if that's the case, we then either activate the relay. So it turns on the contactor or if it's already on, we check if we are in the uh, last 30 seconds of the active time. Then if that's the case, then we just reset the timing and we have another session where or if we are not in that uh, section we just then turn off the relay and the conductor and also the entire power on the uh, module and after each reading we have a beep to indicate that the action was successful then if a card was not recognized then we have two beeps two short beeps that uh, indicate that Yes, a tag was read, but that tag is not part of the ones that we know. And finally, at the end, we have the uh, buzzer that's activated 30 seconds before the ex expiration of the entire runtime. And the final check that uh, indicates if the runtime is already passed. So if, we, if the current release value minus the start time is bigger than the current runtime, it means that we are out of time now and the whole operation timed out. And this is a safety feature. So if you, for example, leave the shop and forget to turn off the safety switch, then it turns off automatically. And that resets the relay, resets the start time, and the whole cycle repeats once again when you enter the shop and activate the uh, safety switch using the card or your phone, for example. And with that, I hope that you like this project. And if you did, then be sure to check out this other video over here where I'll build this workbench out of particle board.